Hey, Architect Nation, welcome to the Business of Architecture YouTube channel. The Business of Architecture is a production of the Architect Business Institute. I'm Enix Sears, founder of the Architect Business Institute. This is the first of many Architect CEO Dispatch videos. You'll be able to catch these both on the podcast as well as here on the YouTube channel. The goal behind these videos is to help you think like a CEO. And when we talk about this idea of thinking like a CEO in your business, even though you may be an architect, you may be a landscape architect, you may be an interior designer thinking as the owner of your business. And in this conversation, we get to what I call the seven pillars of the architect CEO. Pillar number one is extreme ownership and accountability. As the CEO in the business, you know that everything around you, everything in your life right now is a result of what you have or you haven't done. There was a very smart person once who said, by their fruits, you shall know them. So when we look around at the things around us, the fruits are our results the kind of car we drive, the kind of house we live in, the kind of business we have, what we spend our time doing, who we associate with, the relationship we have with our wife, with our children, the health of our body, whether we're lean and mean and fit and healthy, or whether we feel lethargic, overweight, and sedentary. These are the fruit of our life. And as the architect CEO, we realize that the way we get the fruit is by sowing the seeds. The way we get the fruit is by sowing the seeds. So when we look around us at the fruits in our life, we realize and we recognize with this idea of extreme ownership and accountability that we are, as Marcus Limonis, one of my favorite mentors says, 100% responsible for everything that we have in our life. Pillar number one is extreme ownership and accountability. Pillar number two of the architect CEO mindset is the idea of servant leadership. The servant leadership recognizes that he or she not only has responsibility for a team, but as an entrepreneur, as a firm owner, you have birthed a child into existence. This child is a business. This child is depended upon by employees, by contractors, by staff, by consultants, and by clients. As such, you realize that it is your primary function as a business owner and as a leader within that business to ensure that the proper systems are set up so that business functions like a well-oiled machine, so it delivers an exceptional experience to everyone who's in your world. Pillar number three of the architect CEO is a focus on strategy. Yes, tactics are important. Yes, we need to know how to get clients. Yes, we need to know the latest about all the social media tools, but at the very basic foundation, the architect CEO thinks about strategy, thinks not just what are you gonna be doing this year, but what are you gonna be doing the next year? What are the trends in the marketplace that you need to foresee so you can be proactive and prevent them from absolutely destroying your business. And being like so many architects who write me saying, Enoch, I don't know what happened. It's not like it used to be 10 years ago. Enoch, the facility managers, the people who used to give us work are no longer working there. Enoch, there's a lot of competition in our market right now. Enoch, right now, all the clients out there seems like they just want to beat down our fees and they're unwilling to see and pay for the value that we provide as architects. So number three is a focus on strategy. Adopting this architect CEO mindset that strategy precedes the tactics. Pillar number four is thinking and acting in priority. If I had a dollar for every time someone has told me or I've said myself, I don't have enough time, I would be a very rich person indeed. So the truth of the matter is that we cannot manage time. It passes. No matter what we do, it continues on. We have 168 hours in every single week, 24 hours a day. What we can do, however, is we can manage ourselves within time. And this is how the architect CEO thinks that I realize that there's a million things I could do. I'm never gonna have time to do everything that I want to do. So I need to very carefully pick and very laser, have laser-like focus on the things that I actually want and the things I need to do to make those things happen. Pillar number five to being the architect CEO is knowing your numbers. Being able to run the business from a dashboard, understanding what the key performance indicators are in your business and having them, not only reviewing them, but having them clear in your mind because you know the targets you've set, you know the targets you're running towards, you know the way that you're tracking in relation to those targets. And you're prepared to make adjustments along the way so that those targets become not just a nice to have, but something that you absolutely will achieve. Number six, the architect CEO plays the game of expansion. Pillars one through five lead up to this. Pillars one through five help you play this game of expansion. The architect CEO realizes the game of business, the game of running an architecture firm is not about perfection. Although yes, we do want to send those drawings out to the field as correct as we can make them. When we put on our entrepreneur hat, when we put on the the hat of the marketer, we need to understand that we get points for shipping. 
In the software industry, shipping is when you just ship a product out there. You get it out into the marketplace because that's the fastest way you're gonna get feedback. That's the fastest way you're gonna be able to iterate in your business, improve and get to the next level. So the architect CEO realizes that in business and in life, this is not a game of perfection. We're not trying to be perfect here. We're trying to grow because when we, when we focus on being perfect, that leads to a continual cycle of failure and disappointment because we can never be perfect. And if we're always looking at being perfect, we're afraid to take the big risks, the big jumps, the big leaps, the big moves that lead to the big payoffs and the big expansion. So pillar number six, the architect CEO plays the game of expansion, not the game of perfection. Pillar number seven, the architect CEO works on the business, not just in the business. When we look at Robert Kiyosaki, his cash flow quadrant, where he breaks up the four different ways that you can make money in this world. In the upper left-hand corner, we have the employee. The employee has a job. The employee works for an employer. And that employee's salary is directly tied to the number of hours that they put in on a day. Below the employee, we have the self-employed firm owner. This firm owner is a little bit above a job because he actually or she actually has the ability to choose some freedom in terms of what they work on in their schedule. But at the end of the day, they're still working for money. The architect CEO has moved from self-employed to business owner. And quadrant number three is where the architect CEO finds him or herself. Where you now have a business with systems that work for you, with people that work for you. The architect CEO works on the business and not just in the business. Underlying all of this is a desire and a deep drive to be your best, not to settle for mediocrity, and to excel in the three areas of dream practice, fulfillment, freedom, and finances, so you can not only make a big impact on your family, so you can not only spend the time to have a weaponized, healthy, strong body that gives you an amazing standard of life, but also allows you to mentor the people in your life that you'd like to mentor, allows you to give back to your community, allows you to have the impact. So at the end of the day, you can roll into the, the last base, home base, a little battered, a little bruised, perhaps even a little broken, but at the same time, happy and content that you gave it your best and you play this game of expansion, the game of the architect CEO. So really quickly, we're just gonna review here the seven pillars of an architect CEO. Number one, extreme ownership and accountability. Number two, the architect CEO is the servant leader. Number three, focus on strategy, not tactics. Number four, think and act in priority. Number five, know your numbers. Number six, this is a game of expansion, not a game of perfection. And number seven, work on the business, not just in the business. Now, if you'd like to get more of these updates, I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can go look for Business of Architecture on iTunes and wherever you like to listen to your podcast. And as always, carpe diem.